Well, exciting times for Indian defense, especially in the aerospace sector. We have not just the LCA Mark 1A, but beyond that, there are a variety of versions coming out. We have with us the chairman of uh, the DRDO, Dr. G. Satish Reddy, to speak to us and give us more information. Uh, Dr. Reddy, first of all, thank you very much for speaking to India today. The Prime Minister has focused on indigenization, Atmanirbhar Bharat. Now, it's not just the LCA Mark 1A, we have the Mark 2, you have the medium weight fighter, the AMCA. Do give us more information on these brand new fighters you all are coming out with. Firstly, we all should thank the government, Honorable Prime Minister, Honorable uh, Defence Minister, for uh, giving the approval for 83 members of LCA for the Air Force to place order on HAL. The aircraft, which is designed and developed by Aeronautical Development Agency and DRDO, uh, and getting to HAL, the first ever single largest ever order of 83 numbers aircraft to HAL is a major boost to the Indian aeronautic sector. The aeronautic sector in the country will have a quantum jump in the ecosystem coming, and it will pave way for the new infrastructure and advanced infrastructure and manufacturing capabilities and technological advancements. So with this, you must be seeing already in LCM Mark 1, lots of new things we are incorporating from ourselves. The AESC radar, active electronic scanning array radar, is one of the most modern uh, radars which is developed indigenously by DRDO LRDE here and is being tried on the aircraft. The navigation systems, the mission computers, the complete uh, software, the complete uh, weapon systems, the onboard oxygen generation system, many things you talk have been developed here in the country and that has paved the way for development of LCM Mark II, uh, which is, is a my higher weight class compared to the LCM Mark I. The development is an advanced stage. Uh, the complete designs have been complete, the technologies, the subsystems and various systems have been realized and the aircraft is an advanced stage of development which actually makes the India to have a higher weight class uh, um, system compared to the LCA Mark I. So this is one system. Then the, the medium combat uh, aircraft, advanced medium combat aircraft, which is a 5 plus uh, generation aircraft, has been designed as a 5.5 generation aircraft having the stealth features and the twin engine and many other advanced features of uh, uh, the engines, the technologies, what have been used, the most advanced systems, the conformal antennas and whatnot and all that, the internal weapon bay, these are all the most modern features of one of the, I say that the AMCA will be one of its uh, uh, technological advanced aircraft in the world itself. So the government has given the necessary impetus to push this uh, project very fast and India will have very soon the AMCA will be developed in the country. So I've been very excited uh, since the time that you all managed to land the LCA, the naval version on the INS Vikramaditya. But we are going for something else known as the twin engine deck based fighter. What is that? Because and what is the benchmark you're keeping for that particular fighter? See, the um, landing on Vikramaditya has paved the way and a remarkable achievement in ensuring that the naval aircraft, deck-based aircraft, has been all the technological uh, uh, achievements or requirements have been completed. Now, having completed that, they're all technological um, accomplishments. Now, that has to be converted into actually a full-fledged aircraft. So, between Indian Navy and um, ADA and DRDO, we have been working uh, quite a lot now. So, then uh, the uh, Navy has thought that there should be twin-engine-based uh, aircraft so which has got a much higher features and uh, long range and higher power and whatnot and all that so that's the one which is uh, being discussed and when uh, conceptualized and the top level configuration is being finalized that is what is twin engine deck based fighter aircraft so and any weapon system is good like for example when we're talking about aircrafts if it has the required uh, sophisticated missiles and avionics so what are the missiles you're looking into because the astra mark one is already being inducted what about the other missiles, sir? Air to air and air to surface? Many things. Uh, you have already seen that LCA Mark 1 has been um, uh, integrated. So soon LCA Mark 2, which is a much longer system, will be coming. It will be integrated. The BrahMos missile has been integrated today. And then the smart anti air field, air field weapon has been integrated. A uh, couple of bombs which have been developed by DRDO have already been integrated with this. And then the NGRM, 
the new generation anti-radiation missile which has been successfully flight tested that is being integrated and that has been uh, flight tested now and so some more longer range air to ground uh, weapons also will be integrated. So these are all the weapon systems which are getting integrated in these systems. My last question is this, the world is changing, we are going towards AI, uh, artificial intelligence, what's happening on the UAV front? What, what, what are we seeing? A lot of work is going on in the UAV front. Uh, there's uh, very good development in the country. The private sector has taken a lot of initiatives in the UAV's development. And with the private sector's cooperation, DRDO is working on the UAV-based technologies in a big way. The artificial intelligence is being pursued. In fact, every system laboratory of DRDO have given the directions that they should have an artificial intelligence group which works on that. And every system which comes out of DRDO now should have artificial intelligence features. So they're all working on this and then every aircraft or every UAV, what you are saying, or the, or you call it ours, uh, uh, medium uh, altitude male or something like that and all also, they are all being built with this and then a uh, lot of uh, AI features are being brought into these systems now. Sir, I, I, when you were talking about this, I just remembered the recent war were and it was fought using unmanned combat aerial vehicles uh, and we saw how destructive it is where are we on on when you're talking about unmanned combat aerial vehicles see uh, as i said uh, private industry and uh, drdo are working on uav based technologies in a big way which are required by the armed forces also see uh, uavs you know that there are lots of uh, civilian applications and also military applications. So particularly DRDO with the industry is working in a big way on the UAV based technologies for military applications and uh, the technologies which are developed are being developed in the country we are no less than in Iran. Thank you very much sir. In fact the DRDO is now completely focusing on what the Prime Minister of India wants that is indigenization Atma Nirbhar Bharat and that is what you see over here the LCA Mark II, the AMCA by a missile, the twin engine deck based fighter, these are all uh, aircraft and missiles that will see the light of day in the near future. With video journalist Madhuar, this is Nolan Pinto for India Today at Aero India 21.